In this video, we are going to be taking a look at our profile view styles. So if we remember, that is the green and gray graph grid that is behind our actual profiles. So again, through Toolspace, we can go through the settings tab under profile view, profile view styles, and this is where we can set up if it's vertically exaggerated or not. So I've got a few set up that are for normal ground, so it displays what's out there now, two times vertically exaggerated, five times and 10 times vertically exaggerated. We'll just take a look at the one I have here on the screen. Another way we can access this is if you select your profile view, right click, edit profile view style. If you remember anything Civil 3D or most things Civil 3D, you can select them, right click, edit their properties or edit their style right from that window. Or come into the settings tab and look through here. So under my profile view style, my 10 times vertical, we have a information tab, we have the name, we have a description, again, who created it by, when it was created. Let's take a look under the graph tab. So this is where we set up our ver vertical exaggeration. If we wanted 20 times exaggeration, our vertical scale would be one to 50 based on this one to 1,000. Our current horizontal scale from the drawing settings is one to 1,000. If we wanted one times exaggeration, our vertical scale is it's set to custom, but it would be one to 1,000 as well. Our custom scale is 1,000. So this is where you can change your vertical exaggeration and how much you want to stretch it vertically. If we go to 100 vertically, and I'm going to hit apply and OK, that profile has gotten 10 times taller, and it looks like we're driving over top of Mount Everest now. So this may not be a good representation of our actual surface. I'm going to set that back for 10. There we go. Another thing we can do within the graph window here is our profile view direction. Do we want to read it left to right? Or do we want to flip it around and read it right to left? This all goes along with how you lay out your drawing sheets. Trying to keep north up or to the left as much as possible. You may have to draw your profile and profile backwards to match with your alignment. And with the way this drawing, this drawing works, because my road actually goes to the left and curves up around to the north, in order to keep north up or to the left on our pages, I actually have to reverse this profile. So we have to display the profile backwards. And likewise on our drawing, the alignment reads zero to 2000 right to left. So the alignment will even read backwards on our drawing as well. It takes a little bit getting used to. So back into profile view style, we've looked at the graph tab, the grid tab. So we can clip our vertical grid, we can clip the horizontal grid, make it look a little bit nicer or include all the lines. I find it looks more complete if we include all the lines. We can pad the grid so we can add extra space above, below, to the left or to the right in order to just fill the page more. However, I just do that through the stations and elevations in the profile view properties. Our title annotation tab. So this would be, let's increase this scale a lot so we can actually see things. Profile view pro style. Our title annotation at the bottom, the word station is right here. And then we have the parent alignment, the title content would be our highway. And again, this is like any other civil 3D label. We can come in here and we can select different things and add them in. Our text style, our text height. So that's the text style and text height that's being used in these objects here. The title position, where do we want to put it? On the right and the left, I have the word elevation turned sideways 90 degrees. So it's going to display the word elevation, turn 90 degrees. And at the top, I don't display anything. I, I have this one turned off, but you could have it turned on to say station if you want, or really anything you want to add. And again, different options for Civil 3D. Under the horizontal axis, so this will be along the bottom. What do we want to display? So major ticks, minor ticks. 
every 100 meters, my tick size and text height is 2 millimeters. It's centered. It's labeling the station value. So it's going to label the value of the station every 100 meters. So if I hit OK and zoom in, so we can see it a little bit more, 40, 900, 5,000, 5,100, 5,200. In fact, this might be overkill for this length of alignment. Oh, sorry, wrong button. We could even go 1,000. And if we change this to 1,000 and hit Apply, we've lost a little bit of our detail. So as we change these, you can see things down here changing. Our text height, if we go 5, it makes the text bigger. And again, Civil 3D labels, we can pick a few different options to pull it off. So this is grabbing station value. Text size, rotation, if there's any offset. So you can adjust it farther away or you can adjust it closer to the profile view itself. And on the right hand side, just the ticks. I've got the stations turned off in the display tab. So it's not gonna display the stations, it's gonna display the ticks. And any horizontal geometry tick details if we have any. Now, a couple places in here, you may have to switch the top and the bottom for your changes to actually take place. So just keep in mind, there's a top and a bottom button right here. The same goes for our vertical axis. We have a left button and a right button. Because the left and right both display elevations, if you change something, you definitely have to change these on both sides. So I'm gonna go over to the right hand side here. Profile view style again. And our intervals, if we make it 10, it spaces them out to 10. But because I didn't change the right, it didn't change the left. So this is where I'm saying that the right and the left both need to be changed because if I turn right on, these right ones show up. So left and right, make sure to update them both. Again, any offsets, how close do we want them? How far away do we want them? I gotta keep remembering that this is now the left and this is now the right because we've reversed this profile. So this one displays right to left, so your left becomes right and your right becomes left. Same thing with the minor ticks, the major ticks, just keep everything the same, left and right. Then under the display tab, we have quite a few more options in here for profile view display items. And we only get plans. So do we want to see the titles? Do we want to see the left axis? Do we want to see the right axis? If I turn this off, it'll turn that green line off. So anything to do with the left axis, anything to do with the right axis, titles, annotation, ticks major, ticks minor, top axis, bottom axis. So we have top and bottom. Grid horizontal major, grid horizontal minor. If I want to turn that minor grid on, it becomes very messy. Same with vertical. We could put in a grid at horizontal geometry points. So anywhere on our alignment, we can have uh, a grid at those horizontal geometry points. Top axis annotation, top axis uh, ticks, geometry points, grid at sample line stations. So if we go to run a set of sample lines, it'll put a grid at those sample lines. And if we want to display profile hatch or not. Oops. So under the summary tab, again, it's just a recap of everything that's to the left of us. Just a lot more options here because profiles are very detailed. So this is just a repeat of what's in here. So that was a quick video on profile view styles and how to edit them and modify them.